your host, a Slate Belt Fishing Incorporated. As you can see, we got a perchola and a pickerel and like Missy uh, yesterday. We Monsters. Couldn't, we couldn't really film due to the weather and kind of we were helping these young kids yesterday. So we kind of got a little sidetracked, but we are here. We did catch some nice fish. So I he does mean, not want to go calmly into that good night. He wants to put up a fight. So I'm gonna fillet these, but first we'll, we'll, we'll show you the measurements. The perchola, twelve. There's eleven and a half on the dot, and the pickerel, Godzilla. 20 inches on the dock. Let's see what we can salvage out of these fish, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start with the perchola. Do the, do the warning for blood. Huh? Do the oh. warning for... What, and, uh, warning. If you are not 16 years old and are against killing wildlife, please do not watch this video. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> pause for a few seconds while we show the slideshow of us with our fish. Element, it's Lehigh Valley Slate Bell Fishing Incorporated. AKA Frankenstein's Wacken Wack Doodle Emporium. If you're watching this, we're, we're going to fillet them and then we are going to cook them. If you'd open your mouth, sir. Sir, I need you. Sir! Sorry, the fish took a, a, a leaping jump and decided to leave my grasp. Let's he's still alive, ladies and gentlemen. This is 24 hours after we pulled him out of the lake, he's still alive. This so is the first fish we will be flying. It's a pan fish. It's called a yellow perch. So here we go. You first begin by making an incision in the anal fin. By the anal fin. Help me! I don't want a dog. As you can see, oh, uh, Eric. What? There's eggs. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, female. Did not mean to do that to you. It's all right. So she was prego then. Well, I didn't know. It didn't look like it to me. Oh, I missed some meat. Oh well. Then you begin by making an incision under the gill fin. Which is better? Right, which is about right here. Like this so. will be bloody, ladies and gentlemen, so. Like so. Somebody stole my fillet knife, so now I'm using a regular kitchen knife, which it does the job. A little bit harder, but. I heard it right here, folks. Fillet knives are better for filleting fish than kitchen knives. <laughs> but if you're experienced and Slide this guy's throat quick. Well, we could sell these eggs. We if what? we had a live one, we, 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 we could produce our own perch. Um, now, I we want to begin by. We forgot the bag. Oh, I'll go get one. By begin by removing the guts out of the fish. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just his stomach. I think it's stomach. No, yeah. it's eggs. See? There's still, the a lot of meat. Look, the There's still a lot of meat in there. The fish didn't look pregnant, so I'm gonna assume it's not far along, so maybe maybe she was getting ready to start the get, get bird. Oh, I say mate. Yeah. Now Sorry about that. <laughs> what you wanna do is cut down. The spine if I can get this knife to cooperate with me like so now as you can see the fish is still alive now you just slowly bring the fish Will you just die? Yo. Sorry. Look. 
That is all meat that he just peeled off right there, ladies and gentlemen. That little strip. That's meat. That's all bones. I'm not even gonna bother with that. So that wasn't a lot of meat. No. Damn Maybe it. on this fillet. Maybe. Now what you wanna do is you wanna hold them by the head like so. And you wanna make another incision under the, the, the fin right here. Like so. Oh man, this guy's got some tough skin. And then you wanna just take your knife. Take the head off. Yeah, there ain't that shit. Oh, it's right here. A little piece. Just a little piece. Hey, right, that's still good. As you see, a nice clean perchola. We'll be right back to you after this short little break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta put the camera on me. We're gonna be now cooking the fish and butter, pepper, and garlic. Hey, why is there? There's a time on it, so I'm not It's alright. Okay. We are cooking our fish. This is our mascot. Hi, Sarge. Well, I am making a fish and cheese panini. How is that made, you might ask? Well, right now you got a pan fry the fish in butter, garlic, and pepper. We're gonna melt some cheese with it. Let's take out of here. Only one piece. Lower the heat, just a six. As you can see, I'm not burning the fish, which is good. Watch out, watch. And this piece of meat is nice and tender, which is even better. He's the cook of the group, so. I'll let that, let that cook for a little bit. Move the cheese. Huh? I said move the cheese because you'll, you'll get it. We're going to let that cook for a little bit. We'll be back to you with the finished product. Ready to add the cheese. Eric, how's it smelling here? It smells delicious. Nothing will beat the fresh fish. Nothing beats it. Nope. Can't beat it. Nope. Now, are there different ways to cook this panini fish thing? There is, but I prefer this way because you get more of the flavor. So all I'm going to do is put this in a pile. I need that. I don't know, I'm just melting this. Now, right now, all I'm doing is melting the cheese. This is for all you cooking enthusiasts out there who want to who want to learn how to make fresh stuff for friends when you after you catch your fish. It does smell pretty good in here though. Yeah. Even the dog likes it, right Sarge? Now you got the cheese nice and melted and you got some of that flavor on your bread. You take a plate. Put the bread on. Turn the stove off so you don't call the fire. Take your fish like so. Fire bad. Place it on there. Like so. Cover that up. Put that like that. Mmm. That actually got some good taste to it. Mmm, mm, good. Hold it up, and there you have it. A pickerel fish panini. Now, Eric, the co host, is going to try it. If I die, I believe you.
Damn, that's good. There you have it, folks. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be our live Week 8 NFL picks. Stay safe. Stay clean. Keep fishing. Ta-ta for now.